Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I have another scrapbooking layout for you guys using my deluxe kit, May deluxe kit from the Wild Hair Kits. And I'm going to be documenting this photo of my family. We went to medieval times for my husband's birthday and so I had a lot of photos from that trip but they were all like dark and grainy and just not good. So I had this one photo of all of us together and so I'm going to use this to document the day. And I found this layout on Pinterest and I'm going to use this as inspiration. I love how the photo is cut into a tag and kind of clipped onto the layout. It's very, very simple, just some fun, like random words over here. I'm going to do this a little bit differently but just kind of a clean, simple layout with some fun elements. So this is gonna be my inspiration for today. I will link this down below if you guys wanna check out um, that person's blog. But I went ahead and cut out my photo and then cut it with a tag die. I have a nesting tag die set. I'll link it down below. So I went ahead and cut that out. And then I pulled a few items from my May kit. I did go ahead and already cut down one of the papers. I think this is one of the ones from Cartabella. Uh, and you can see this is actually cut to eight and a half by 11 and then I gutted the center of it. That way I'm not wasting um, that part of the paper. I can use it for something else. And then just some white cardstock that I cut down to be um, just slightly smaller than this wood grain paper. And then I have a few other papers from my collection, but in my stash, I had some blue twine that I had gotten in a past wild hair kit and I hadn't really used it. So I'm going to use that um, on this layout. And then I also had received these little clothes pins in a past kit. So I thought it'd be fun to use these because I hadn't used those yet. And so I have um, just some other items from past kits. And then I also pulled out some sticker booklets from my stash uh, that I think I'm going to use like the alpha stickers from and some of the word phrases and things like that on this layout. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we will put this together. Okay, so we're going to start by adding the twine since this is kind of the base part of this layout. I'm going to apply it to the top portion of the cardstock and I'm just adhering one end of it to the back side and then you just kind of randomly wrap it around the cardstock. Not too tight because I don't want to warp my cardstock. I think this would be a great idea if you did this towards the bottom of the layout and wrapped it like a whole bunch of times, maybe with some different you know, threads and things and then tucked your photo behind it might be kind of fun. So I definitely want to incorporate this element into some future uh, layouts just because it adds a fun detail that's really textured and just kind of different. And I'll adhere the other end to the back side and I do also add a piece of washi to either side just to secure it so that it maintains the same like look on the front so that it isn't shifting and moving over time um, in my album. So like I said, I went ahead and cut out that photo. I'll have those tag dies linked down below for you guys. And then uh, a few different papers. This word printed paper is actually from a past kit that I think I got a few months ago. And I really kind of struggled with the papers because the, the inspiration layout actually had some fabrics and ribbons instead of just papers. And so I was trying to find papers that added little pops of color but didn't distract from the photo itself. So this floral piece is actually from the cut apart sheet that I got in my kit this month and I'm just kind of trimming things down. Um, I wanted to add some different uh, tails to the bottom of these banners just so that they kind of look different and stand out from each other. I love that copper foil paper. That's a six by eight paper um, that came in my kit this month. And it just was fun to have that little pop of copper, but I don't have a lot of copper embellishments. So when I was going through the sticker book, it kind of made it hard because I had a lot of gold elements, but I didn't have copper. And I, for this particular layout, wanted to keep everything kind of cohesive. So because then you just cut a few different lengths, a few different finishes at the bottom there. And then I did go ahead and staple everything together. That way it doesn't shift and move. Um, once I've got it where I want it. So for the center part, I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere that down now that we can kind of commit to some things and make sure that it is straight, especially since this has um, like a faux wood grain with lines, I wanna make sure that everything, everything is straight. So you can see I did add some adhesive to the back of this cluster and so that clothespin actually is more just decorative than functional. I just want to make sure that nothing falls apart when it's in my album. So now we can start working on the little cluster down at the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to start 
working from the bottom up. This way I can make sure that all my spacing is good. So I'm gonna start with the date of the photo. And then now I'm just going through all of the different items in my kit this month, some of these past sticker books. Uh, I pull out some past cardstock stickers from past kits and I'm just pulling random like word stickers and labels and things like that in all different colors and shapes. And now I'm realizing that that word remember is actually gold foil. So I did mix gold and copper. <laughs> That's okay. Um, these sticker books uh, have a lot of different phrases and things. So it has a mixture of white stickers and clear stickers. And so I used a variety of those to kind of finish this out. I think in the layout that it was inspiration, it kind of looks like it was um, brush lettered, like hand lettered words. Um, and so it was all black and just I just chose to do it a little bit differently and wanted to use up some of the things from my stash. So you can see here I've fast forwarded and added um, medieval times because I wanted to document that that's where we were at. Uh, I will probably on the back of this layout add some journaling specific to like what we were doing. You know, it was for Dave's birthday and things like that. Um, just so that in the future if I wanted to specifically know where this photo came from, I could have that referenced on the back of my layout. I don't always add like detailed story journaling on the front of my scrapbooking layouts. So here I'm just adding some finishing details, some little hearts. Um, just to pull around some of the different colors. Those ribbons behind the photo just added a big pop and punch of color, but I needed to kind of spread that color out over the layout. That way your eye continues to move across the layout. So I'm just flicking through several times, just trying to find the different hearts, um, different sized things to mix and match and, and kind of float around there. I think I pull one more final sticker and this will actually go, yep, above medieval times. And that's kind of it for all that. I'm gonna finish it off with some black watercolor splatters just to make everything cohesive and tied together. And this was really a very simple and quick entry to put together. So there's a look, I'll, you'll see one final photo. Um, I'm gonna go in and kind of manually create some little splatter dots just in some specific places that I want them, but um, that's gonna be it. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. You can check out the description box for links to everything that I used. Be sure to head on over to the Wild Hair Kits blog to check out more close-up photos, and don't forget to order your own hand curated kit from the Wild Hair Kits. They are amazing. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.